We have on a few occasions explored the homes for sale at different price points in the Jackson Metro area. And we've looked at the low end, kind of a mid range, on up to around a million dollars. But even here in the Jackson Metro, that is not the maximum that you will find. There are homes that go even beyond that, taking it to just a whole nother level of luxury homes, just some amazing properties of what you can get. And so we're gonna take a look today in this video at the homes that are at the most expensive homes for sale in the Jackson, Mississippi Metro. We're getting after it right now. What's up everybody? My name is Jared Lash from Realtor with Keller Williams right here in the Jackson, Mississippi metro area. And if you're new to the channel, what we're doing here, we're giving you information like this, pertaining around showing you the area, all that kind of stuff. That's what you are looking for. Make sure you get down there, hit that subscribe button and click the bell. That way you'll get notified when our new videos come out and they're coming out every single week. So you definitely don't want to miss those. And if you're somebody who is actually thinking about making a move here to the Jackson metro, you're just thinking about buying a home here in the Jackson metro area, you gotta take that just one step further like a lot of other people doing just just about every day uh, and we love it we cannot wait to help you make your move here to the Jackson Metro so go ahead and reach out to us uh, you can call us text us DM us email us you can even get your microphone. you know it don't matter how you get in touch with us just as long as you do because we got your back moving here to the Jackson Metro now in this area like I said we're gonna be looking at the most expensive homes for sale showing you what you can get at the top of the market and where the top of the market is what, what are the most expensive properties for sale uh, in the Jackson Metro. So that's what we're, we're gonna be looking at today. We're gonna get back here on the computer, I'm gonna pull it up and uh, let's take a tour around the area at the luxury homes of the Jackson Metro. All right, so here we are on homesnap.com. This is the one we've used before. I will say this might be going away for this area. I don't know. We're changing MLS soon. I'll have a video about it when I know more details. But for now, uh, this is probably one of the easier public websites to look at um, and one, one of the most up to date. So it'll be that way at least for the next couple months. Um, anyway, get in here, you can see I have our uh, criteria set to over $2 million, at least three bedrooms. I'll put the bedrooms in there just to rule out any land. It's just land by itself. Um, but yeah, here we are. So these are the listings. There are 10 listings at over two million dollars that is pulling up and one of those out there so really nine in the tri-county area here one over in flowwood a few up in ridgeland and uh, the rest out in madison county uh, so the most expensive one looks like it is the one in flowwood 4.8 million dollars in indian creek which is just a beautiful neighborhood I've had uh, several buyers interested uh, in buying in that neighborhood lately. Uh, good location, beautiful homes in there, uh, beautiful neighborhood. So we're going to save that one for the last. It's the it's the biggest one. We're going to save it for the last. Let's go ahead and start. Uh, why don't we start with Ridgeland? We'll start with Ridgeland today at 2.9 million on Butler Drive. Well, let's check this one out. So this one listed by Shane Anna Barksdale with Next Tan. Uh, that's the listing agent on this one. And of course, you can reach out to whatever agent you want to, uh, whether that be me or if you'd like to call them, you can do that too. Uh, but let's take a look at the, the house we've got here and uh, let's just kind of scroll through these pictures. Got 10 to look at, so I don't want to go too deep into all of these. But I mean, check this out. I mean, that's, that's a high level of detail and a ton of space. Just look at all that. So you're, you're getting here 8,800 8, square feet, six bedrooms, seven and a half baths, built in 1994. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is what you get at this price point here. It's, it's everything you could want, and then a lot of things you probably didn't even think you, did, you wanted. You didn't even know you needed, but you do. Look at this pool. This is how all these are probably gonna go. <laughs> you got a little guest house over here. This amazing outdoor area, beautiful pool. Of course, it's a gated property. So there's one for $2.85 million. Let's check one, what do you get for $3.5 million over here off Old Agency Road? Uh, really nice area there too. These are, these are all close to the Natchez Trace, so you've got the multi-use trails running through there. Uh, close to all these. 3.5 million dollars over 10,000 square feet. 
10,000. <laughs> seven bedrooms, seven and a half baths. Um, and, the, and these are the ones we're looking at here first. These are a little bit older ones, you know, built in, uh, the first one was the 90s. This one's built uh, 2004. So they're not like the newest homes, uh, but you know, kind of a timeless design to these. It's not ultra modern, but uh, definitely very classic. That staircase is pretty amazing. I uh, got you what could be like a study here. Kind of a living area. It's huge. Look how big these rooms are. You know, this isn't like, you know, we take pictures to help make rooms look bigger. They didn't have to do that in this house. Oh um, man, what, look at the tub you got here. And this is the bathroom. So you got this much room around the tub. You got this huge shower over here. What a closet. And just so you know, I don't pre-look at, you know, when I'm going to make a video like this, I'll almost intentionally ignore looking at this stuff until we make the video because I'm, you're getting my reaction to these uh, just as much as maybe your reaction. Uh, but look at this space here. Look at that. You got the kitchen with this, this gigantic island over there. Um, that's a high-end stove. Not sure exactly. Maybe a wolf stove there. A range. Uh, big double oven in that commercial vent hood up there. You are not lacking. Oh, it was a wolf. Look at that, spotting it from across the room. Um, but yeah, look at that. Just you, know, you got the windows, you got the, the very high end quality appliances, workout room. Yeah, and that's the other thing too here. At this price point, you're typically typically getting multiple structures. You're not just getting the main house. You're getting the main house with the guest house or or something to that effect. Um, you know, some you know, if it's a agricultural property, you may be getting like a barn, a very nice barn. Um, you know, separate apartment. Look at this, look at this landscape. Check that out. You don't see that very often in Mississippi, so I uh, got you a fire pit out there, detached garage. Um, I'm not even sure what that house is. I want one of them looks like a pool. That's a pool house. I'm not sure what the other one was over there. And then uh, look at that. You got the privacy. All right, enough time on that one. I really like looking at these. <laughs> uh, let's see. Two point. We'll leave the two point four. We don't have to look at every single one. Let's let's see. We want to see the highest of the high here. Let's look at this one out here, Highland Meadow Road. Now this one built in '97. Obviously, they went with the, uh, you know, this uh, classic columns on the front here. And if you call that a Greek revival or whatever you call that with the columns here. I'm uh, not an architect. And, uh, again, we don't deal with homes like this that often in Mississippi. But they are here. And this is one. So you're on this land here. You got plenty of privacy. Uh, you are out of town a little bit. You're probably about 15 to 20 minutes away from, you know, Kroger shopping, things like that. Uh, so it does come with, you know, a little bit of a drive when you want to go to things. But do you ever want to leave this? You know, this is, I would call this the compound. <laughs> uh, you got, you know, again, you got multiple structures here connected by that. You got the big pool area outside. Beautiful staircase. You've got the study, you got the bed, the massive bedroom. Now, I personally, click off of this over here. Personally, uh, I don't, <laughs> try to click. Can't get my arrow to pull up. Uh, there we go. Uh, I personally am not a huge fan of, <laughs> of the curtains, but it's uh, very royal, I guess you would say. Kind of like, a, you know, in case you feel like a king if you live in a place like this. Uh, and, uh, and, and I'm saying that, not to, uh, I hope, no one thinks I'm making fun of it or anything like that, but you can live like a king here in this price point in Mississippi. And I talk to people all the time who are moving from, uh, you, know, you know, places in California, places in uh, New York, or even some parts of Texas, where $3.5 million is not getting you um, you know, something that, I mean, you could pretty, you could call this a mansion. You could not call what you get for that price in a lot of places, um, you know, anything like this. You know, it's going to be a pretty standard home in some instances. Maybe a nicer home, but not, not this. 
So uh, this is what you get at that price point here in Mississippi. And this is the top, this is the high end. So I mean, you know, what might be 10 million in those markets you're getting here for, for three and a half. And if you're like me, or the, the regular person watching this video, or the average person, I should say, yeah, I know this is, this is not what you're really looking at, but if you can get this for three and a half, you can still do pretty good at 350. Um, and so that's the point we're trying to drive home here, but uh, just showing you there are some great, wonderful, beautiful luxury homes here in Mississippi. Check out the brick there. That's just amazing. I love this. I love the style of that. I do like some curtains and, uh, you know, wallpaper. <laughs> some wallpaper is coming back. You know, wallpaper is, is in style in some places. This is not as bad. Um, you know, some of it's still dated though. It's got to be the right wallpaper. Uh, but, but trust this, I don't care what wallpaper you put in your house today, in five years, it's not going to look very good. So wallpaper just does not hang around as a style, um, even, even if it gets popular, usually, usually, I could be wrong. And I just, I love the outdoor areas you get with these. Look at this, you got a waterfall on this, this is just a secondary pool here you could get down into, or if it's just like a... Uh, just for, for looks, you got the fire pit, you got the high ceilings in here, the wood up there. Yeah. I mean, a workout room. Pretty amazing there, listed by Marion Bowen, a turnkey. Um, wow, 10,000 square feet on 21 acres. 21 acres. It's not just a beautiful, amazing home, you're on 21 acres. Okay. Uh, and beautiful country up there in Florida. Look, look back at this photo here. This is how it looks out there. So you get some kind of rolling hills. Um, and it's just, it's just really nice. Um, same thing out here. You know, there's several just unbelievable properties out on Mount Leopard Road, uh, going towards the Flora area. Yeah, this one's not going to be an exception to that. Built in 2002, listed by Terry Morgan with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Gateway Real Estate. I see why they shortened it to be HHS. If you want to call her, you can. You could call me. My number's down in the description below. Um, any one of these, if you want to take a look at these in more in depth, I'd be glad to go out to these. I'd love, I love going to these houses. So I would love to go out for you and uh, give you a private remote video tour. We can do it over FaceTime if you like any of these. Um, but here you go. This one's on 12 acres. It looks like it says 23.6. So maybe there's more acreage available. Um, that sometimes is the case. 2.5 million here, six bedrooms, seven baths, 12 acres, 8,600 square feet. Obviously you got that nice gate up at the front. I really like this kind of rustic um, beam here. The rustic beams in the ceiling there, it looks nice. Um, this one has a little bit more of a modern feel to it in some places. Um, I like the look of the brick pavers or, or maybe it's real brick in the kitchen. Uh, I guess it should be real brick at <laughs> $2.5 million. Um, but you know, I don't know. It just seems like it'd be hard to keep clean, you know? Uh, so I don't know. I don't know if I'm a fan of it. I like the look. I don't know if I'm a fan of it, if I would want it, but maybe you do. Do you like it? Let me know. I want to know all your comments about all these in the comments. Uh, get down there and let me know what you think about these. What's your favorite? What do you like? What do you don't like? Um, what could you get for these price points in your area? You know, uh, I'm just curious. So definitely leave me some of that down there below. I, re I really like seeing that. I don't get to go to every area in the country and know what's all, you know, what's going on in every single place. And uh, so you can tell me here. That's great. More big bedrooms. More, did you just see that? Hold on. Go back. It's really hard for me to go back here because I got to drawing thing that wants to pop up on the screen. I don't want to draw anything. I just want to hit the back arrow. There we go. Look at that. Got the on the water there. Tell you what, there are some hunters around here in Mississippi. If you didn't know, you can tell by looking at some of these homes. Um, and, they, and they are hunters here. Got them some trophies there. Uh, just, wow. I'm just letting the photo speak for itself, you know. I'm just here along for the ride with you. Looking at these. 
unbelievable property on Mount Pepper Group. But most of them out there are, you know. Um, do I want to hit this one at 2.4? See what else we got here. That one. We'll check this one out here. 2.5. Uh, this one, very stately. Uh, I guess you might say home. You got this rounded edge here with the columns. Uh, <laughs> built in 2008, 9,000 square feet, 13 acres, seven bedrooms, six and a half baths. Jenny Kang with Muse LLC. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not familiar with Muse LLC. They used to be listed with another agent. I think it, it's been listed a few times because here's the thing. At this price point here, this is not a seller's market in Mississippi. Uh, you know, even a million dollars is a seller's market in Mississippi, which is wild, which is crazy. Um, here, usually that shift happens around between five and 700,000. You know, even though it's been a seller's market for several years now, uh, between five and 700,000, you're shifting over to a more balanced market and then getting on into really a buyer's market uh, where now it's it's a it's a buyer's it's a seller's uh, a seller's market even at a million dollars here in Mississippi it's easy to sell those homes they tend to sell quick if they um, are priced appropriately and and are you know moving ready of course uh, this one here I wish they had the better photos because they used to have some better photos of this house um, you know on a prettier day but and this is just a massive home here. It's just huge. Uh, secluded, you got, uh, you know, obviously it's wooded all around you there. Uh, you can see kind of the overview of the property there. Uh, I'm not sure where that is on the property. I guess it's just somewhere on the property. I would feel like I was in like Ireland or somewhere <laughs> if I was out here on this. Um, and, 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 you know, it's kind of like they keep that theme, you know, the castle theme of this house is, is run throughout. You see, you got suits of armor coat of arms, sword, shield, things on the wall there. Um, and uh, just look at the detail here. Look at the, the detail woodwork here. This is, you don't see this very often on homes, uh, but you see it at this price point. Uh, so you got that nice rounded edge over there. I feel like I was in the Oval Office or something. <laughs> if I had that. Uh, it really does feel like that, you know, looking at it. So maybe that's, uh, you, you want this? Could this be your own personal Oval Office? Uh, kitchen, of course, there's there's nothing to want here in the kitchen. You do have the wood stain cabinets, which, you know, obviously is not really the current style, but I think in a home like this, it doesn't even matter. Like it's still, this looks great. And you know, these are high quality custom cabinets. These are not, uh, not something basic that you might find in just a regular spec home in a neighborhood. Uh, everything in here is custom high end quality. And, uh, Again, I'm just letting them speak for themselves. Everything you could want, and much more. Huge shower. I really like that wood. And so, um, you know, let's. That one's here, 325 Lakeshire Parkway. It's at Canton Address. It's in the uh, uh, Panther Creek subdivision, which this whole subdivision I mentioned it before. Um, it's kind of in between the Gluckstadt and uh, Canton areas, really. And so you'll have a Canton address, but you're kind of in between. You're not really in Canton. Uh, you're very close to the Madison County mega site where the new Amazon facility is uh, up that way. And uh, very large acreage lots for pretty much all the homes there. I don't think there's anything under maybe like seven acres. Maybe there's some at five. Uh, but, but you know, they're just they're large acreage lots of homes there in Panther Creek. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look down here in Flowood at the last one. We saved it for last. If you want to look at some of the ones we skipped, uh, you can you can of course go do that. Uh, if you'd like a list of these to keep up with them, you can always let me know. Let's take a look at this one here in Indian Creek in Flowood at $4.8 million. Now this one's the newest one that we're looking at here. Built in 2018, six bedrooms, four and a half baths on 22 point. 39 acres, Bethany Johnson with Nick's Tan has this one listed. And it is a beautiful listing. Uh, there you can see all the features here that it has. Uh, the, all, the, all the space, butler's pantry, a dog wash. I saw a dog wash actually for the first time about, I don't know, maybe maybe a year ago, within a year ago. First time here in this area, I've seen a dog wash in the house, but you've got a dog wash, uh, the butler's pantry, the formal dining. Uh, you've got the screened-in porch with a fireplace and a generator because, uh, you know, we do get some storms come through every now and then. Um, you know, here, I live in Flowood. 
I have never had the power go out more than just a few minutes. We've had storms, we've had the ice storm that we had this year. Power never went out. Uh, so, you know, maybe you'll need it, but I guess it's better to uh, have it, not need it, and need it, not have it. But you got it here at this house. Heated gunite pool, uh, hot tub, slide in a splash pad all at this house. Pretty amazing. So looking at the photos here, you're, uh, well, you gotta click the right spot, Jerry. Looking at them here, we're gonna click through. Big four car garage there. That's a really pretty pool. Deep blue color there. A little pavilion out there in the woods. Private little lake there. Got your shop. Inside is just amazing here. This is, again, top highest quality of everything that you can get. $4.8 million in the Jackson, Mississippi metro area. Um, it, it will be the nicest house um, that you're going to see. I mean, it, it's so rare that something even comes up at this price point. Um, and so it's got to, I mean, it's got to be doing something to justify it here. Um, and, and look, this one is doing it. It's doing what it can do to just <laughs> here. It's got everything. Uh, it's all that aspect of there, the, the high quality appliances, the refrigerators in the kitchen, the big pantry. Um, your laundry room is basically a kitchen. Uh, you got an island, a sink, uh, the wash and dryer there, plenty of storage. This is the one of the only, I've only seen a handful, maybe like two or three um, laundry rooms that even come close to this one. Um, so that's that's about the best that we're gonna get. Um, and you know, they really, even in these spare bedrooms, you just saw those beams, you still have those there. Um, you know, the, the, the detail goes throughout. Cause a lot of times you'll see that maybe in one room of a house, you know, or one or two rooms where they think it's gonna be the most important, but a house like this, you're gonna get that pretty much right in throughout. Um, what $4.8 million home in Floatwood would be complete without a theater room? I'll probably rather watch the movies there than actually go to the actual theater. Uh, <laughs> especially get maybe some popcorn at home to go with it. Uh, yeah, we're not we're not going anywhere. Look at that. Oh, that's a cool fan up there too. Not again, nothing is nothing is basic, nothing is standard. This is not gonna be the things that you see in a regular house. Uh, that's what you're seeing at this here, this price point. You know if the laundry room looked like the laundry room looked like, you know the closet. You just saw a piece of it. That was the only picture they had of the closet. That's amazing. Uh, I would think they would show that off a little more. Um, it looks like your tub is within kind of an enclosed shower type area. This is kind of that screened in porch. It's the gathering place for you out there. Outdoor kitchen. Game room up here with more high-end kitchen appliances in the game room. And your workout room, the pool with the slide. Guessing that's your guest house out there. It's an amazing property and it's right there in Indian Creek in Flowood. This one, you know, some of those others we looked at were kind of out, so you'd have to drive a little bit to get into town to do your shopping and things like that. This one right here, you're in Indian Creek. So, I mean, right here off Cooper Road, you can get, I mean, this is the dogwood shopping area of Flowood. Um, airport is right there if you need to go to the airport. If you want to go to the reservoir, here it is. I mean, you're you're within 10 minutes of the reservoir. Um, you want to run down into Jackson. It's right here. You know, there's Fondren. So, I mean, you're, you're 15 to 20 minutes from all of these things that you would want to be close to. Um, and, you know, you can make probably make it to Kroger uh, up here, Walmart up here within five minutes of your house. So, um, yeah, not only are you getting 22 acres, an unbelievable home, but the highest quality of everything that you can put in a home uh, with 9,200 square feet, only three years old, 2018 build, you're getting all that within five to 10 minutes of most of the things you want, want to go to and 15 minutes of, of even, you know, a whole lot more. So, um, just unbelievable. So, there you have it. Now, of course, I know not everybody is buying a $4 million plus home here in the Metro. If you're moving here, a lot of times it's because you're taking advantage of 
how affordable it is here and how much you can get even at the lower price points uh, and so if you want to see some of those still i've got links down in the description so you can go check out uh, the listings at some of the other price ranges uh, as well as these if you want to look at them in more detail of course if you have questions about any of those feel free to reach out anytime and if you want to keep seeing videos like this you want to get out and see the area go walk around with some vlogs do some 360 driving tours so you can actually take around take a look around different neighborhoods we're doing all that here on this channel we're doing it every week so don't miss it go ahead and hit that subscribe button click the bell and you'll get notified when those videos come out and of course if you are that person you're thinking about moving here you you're seriously thinking about it you you're liking what you see at the jackson metro you got a good offer to come to the jackson metro whatever the case may be take it one step further you got to reach out call us text us email us dm us and yeah if you're close enough and you can really be just 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 loud enough then go ahead and catch your microphone because you know it don't matter how you get in touch with us as long as you do because we got your back over here to the Jackson Metro. Thank y'all for watching this one. As always, 